Please, the floor is yours. Hello. Thank you very much, Darren. And thank you for the organizer to see that a slum dweller can come and say what he thinks about the problem of Dharavi. I think just now you saw everything. I think the whole globe might be hearing everything about Dharavi. Not the people of Dharavi. Not the single person in Dharavi. Go to any media. Ask him, what about Dharavi? We need to know. That's what it is. Government doesn't know. The bureaucracy doesn't know. The people living there for 40 years doesn't know where is house going to be housed in which corner. This is one be design. Today in the 20th century, we are talking up, the whole globe is talking about bottom of approach. Here is top down approach. Five years somebody is working in Dharavi and doesn't know what is happening about Dharavi. You heard very recently, I think I don't know how, what way Ms. Mr. Chatriya influenced the Dharavi project to introduce a survey. You see, first time in the world, a global tender has been invited, bidder has been called, without any statistics. Now they're going to do the survey. Just announced about a month back. What a beautiful project it is. What a beautiful participation is it. What is the way of consultancy it has done. You see in the newspaper, you can hear everything in the newspaper. Statistics given. No mention about what happened to the rack pickers. What happened to the idli walas. Idli is sold in Kulaba in the SR airport, but it's produced more than half a million idlis produced every day. What is going to happen to them? This is the poor man's food. What urban development you are talking about? I remember about 25 years back, the ex-Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi has appointed a commission called Charles Korea Committee. The great developer who is proposing this development, has he looked at it? In that time, in 25 years back, it, Mr. Charles Kuria wrote, Dharavi is a saucer. It cannot be developed like that. You need to have a people's participation. In this project, is people participation has been bulldozed. Thank God, Nashir Munji has very clearly said, we have forgot bulldozer 20 years back, but bulldozer coming through MM Consultant. Very well, very well practically designed. What is happening? What are you talking about? Does the people know about today if you go to builder development, 750 rupees is the outgoing every month. Does MM consultancy know about it? How much are you going to charge? What are you going to charge? The whole Dara is vibrant today because it's vibrant economy. Three to five crore rupees a generation of Every day a turnover. Where is the place for the people? What is going to happen to all its economic activities? Now you are doing a very big favor, taking the slum to a slum and selling it to a developer and giving back the slum improvement. Shame on our face. Today you open the newspaper, it talks about economies booming. The poor is going deep down. You are pushing, making it to happen. Just to improve a slum project, you are selling slum dwellers land. Fine. Okay, that is also acceptable. In the project, is very well conceived. The TDR, the, the FSI for uh, SRA is 2.5. In Dharavi special case, 4 FSI. What is the concession given to Dharavi resident? 225 in SRA for everybody. Anybody in Bombay, who comes under SRA, they go get 225. Your builder is getting 4 FSI. What is the concession specially designed in this project? Nothing. Same water tap, same, no bedroom, everybody in one room. And the builders are very good people in India. The minute you give it to the builder, 
they give one hall one corner one bathroom and toilet if anybody walks they can see the naked dance no women can go there to dress up they somebody passer by also can see that is what the scene that is what the developer is going to give look at what is it when you ask about it they say we are going to give you health you saw the picture.